Hello, everybody, and welcome to class. Uh, I hope you're having a relatively good day today. And if you're not, I hope that this class brings some benefit and helps to change that around for you. Uh, my name is Yahaya Musa, for anyone who might not know. And I'm a yoga instructor, teacher in Long Island in Brooklyn, New York. Um, but of course, I'm coming to you virtually today. And that's really what I love about the virtual platform is wherever it is that you're tuning from. I'm just grateful to be able to, you know, share the practice with you wherever you are. So welcome again. Before we get started, be sure to check your surroundings so that you're safe actually safe by not uh, having anything near you that you might hit with your limbs and also in that you're in a safe area a room a yoga studio somewhere safe where you can have your attention on your mat and not worry about any external forces um, other than that enjoy your practice be sure to listen to yourself that's the priority know yourself best um, in addition to that Stay with your breathing and try your best to follow my cues with my breath cues, my alignment cues. And yeah, so let's get started starting at the top of your mat. So you can make your way there now. Let's get it going. All right, we'll begin at the top of the mat, feet together. Six salutations, six sun salutations to begin. Inhale, take your hands up, connect your palms above your head and look up. Exhale, fold forward, plant your hands and step your right foot back. Drop your back knee, lift your chest. Step back to your plank position. Use your exhale to lower halfway down. Untuck your toes, lift your chest. Keep gazing at your nose, hover your thighs here. Back to downward facing dog. Look between your hands, step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, inhale, lift your chest. Step to a forward fold, exhale. Inhale, take your hands up, add your back bend here. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good, left side, breathe in, take your hands up, add your back bend. Exhale, fold forward, plant your hands down and step your left foot back. Drop your back knee, inhale to lift your chest. Step back plank position. Exhale to lower halfway down. Untuck your toes. Breathe in. Lift your chest. Shoulders relaxed here. Back to your downward facing dog. Good. Step your left foot forward. Drop your back knee. Breathe in. Exhale forward fold top of your mat. Inhale. Take your hands up. Nice back bend here. And bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Very good. We'll do five more like that. Breathe in. Hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep your core engaged. Step your right foot back. Drop your back knee, breathe in. Step back to your plank position. Exhale, lower halfway down. Untuck your toes, lift your chest, cobra. Make your way back, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, breathe in. Step into a forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, take your hands up. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Good. Left side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Left foot back, drop your back knee, lift the chest. Step back to your plank position. Exhale to lower halfway down. Untuck your toes, lift your chest, shoulders down. Good. Nice and strong, back to downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Drop your back knee, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Good, number three. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold down. Right foot back, drop your back knee. Good, step back to your plank. Keep your strength as you lower halfway down. Untuck your toes and lift your chest. And go back to downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, inhale. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, arms up, back bend. Exhale, hands to prayer. Left side of three, inhale up. Exhale, fold it down. Good, step your left foot back, drop your back knee, lift your chest. 
Step back to your plank position. Exhale to lower, inhale to lift, and make your way back, downward facing dog. Good, left foot forward, drop your back knee, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into a back bend here, and release your hands to prayer, and beside your body, halfway there. Let's do three more. Breathe in, take your arms up, Breathe out, fold forward. Stay with your practice. Right foot back, drop your back knee. Back to your plank. Keep your elbows hugging as you lower halfway down. Untuck your toes, lift it up, build strength here. And go back to downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, release your hands to prayer. Good. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, fold it forward. Step your left foot back. Drop your back knee, inhale. Back to your plank. Good. Take your flow. Good. Stay with it the whole way. Back to downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. Drop your back knee. Lift your chest. Step to the top in a forward fold. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, release your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good, number five, breathe in, up. Exhale, fold it forward. Step your right foot back, drop your back knee, lift your chest. Step back to plank, good. Lower halfway down, untuck your toes, lift your chest. Go back, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, lift your chest. Move into a forward fold. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, release your hands to prayer. Good, left side, breathe in, up. Good, and fold it down. Tuck your chin, step your left foot back. Drop your back knee. Plank position, chaturanga. Untuck your toes, lift your chest. Press the tops of your feet down. Meet in downward facing dog. Good, big step forward with your left. Drop your back knee, lift your chest. Forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Good, and release your hands down. Very good. Last one, breathe in, up. Breathe out, fold it forward. Step your right foot back, drop the knee. Back to downward face, back to plank, excuse me. Lower halfway down, untuck your toes, lift your chest. Downward facing dog now. Step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, lift the chest. Forward fold, top of your mat. Good, inhale up. Exhale, release it down. Good, last one, inhale up. Nice back bend. Exhale, fold it down. Left foot steps back, drop your back knee and lift your chest. Step back to your plank. Use your exhale to lower halfway. Untuck your toes, breathe it in. Go back, downward facing dog. Look forward, step your left foot forward. Drop your back knee, lift your chest. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, release your arms down. Very good, take a moment here. Just let your heart rate settle a bit. Feel your feet connected to your mat. Very good. All right. Next up is headstand. I'm gonna give a few options here. If you have a headstand practice, go ahead. We're gonna take about 10 breaths. If you don't have a headstand practice, I'm gonna show you what you can do while we are in headstand. You can come into your dolphin pose, elbows about shoulder distance apart, tuck your toes and we'll meet here. So you're inverted, you're getting a lot of the same benefits as headstand, good. And if you have a headstand practice, I'll meet you there. Good. So wherever you are, focus on each breath you're taking. In your headstand, use your arms so that not all the weight is going into your head or your neck. 
Good. Keep your feet active. Either point or flex your feet. Good. And we're here about five more breaths. Good. Watch each breath you take. Good. And as carefully as you went up, you're going to make your way down. No rush. Good. Let's have a child's pose for a few breaths. You can either have your arms extended forward or resting beside your body with your palms facing up. Awesome. We have about five more breaths here. Rest your forehead. Let your hips relax to your heels. Very good. Next up is shoulder stand. So maybe start a little more towards the top of your mat so that you have room for a plow. Okay, make your way straight up. Use your arms to help support your lower or middle back. And you're looking to lengthen your body up. Good, try to keep your gaze steady. Look at your feet or your navel. Good, and you should really feel your shoulders on the ground. Good, Just try to adjust yourself so you feel that. Not too much compression in your neck. Good, and take your time to lower your feet overhead towards plow pose. So you might feel even more compression here, but it should feel nice. You should still be able to breathe fairly well. Good, and if you are feeling uncomfortable, this is a pose that does get better with time, really like most poses. Good. Here for one more breath. Take your time to come out. Take your legs up towards the ceiling. And then very gently make your way down. Good. And lengthen your body out on the mat. Have a moment here. Good, short shavasana to let everything sink in and just to rest for a moment. Very good. And let's counter that now with fish pose. Have your arms underneath you, palms facing down. And if you can, have your feet together. Start to point your toes, lift your sternum up and take your head back. Good, so you're trying to bring the top of your head to the mat, keep pointing your toes to keep your feet engaged. Nice, and let your, shine, your chest shine towards the ceiling. Open your throat as well. Take three more breaths. Good. Take your time to come out. You're gonna release your arms and rest for another couple breaths here. Good, relax your muscles, your joints, really let it go for two more breaths. Very good, and start to make your way up. Come into a seated posture, and we're gonna move into a forward fold here. Good, have your feet together, flex all 10 toes towards you. Good, and rest your hands just beside your body like this. You can use it for a bit of support. Awesome, and now take your arms up, palms facing each other. 
try to really energize through your whole body and then start to fold forward and you're gonna hold on to your the outer parts of your feet good so nice long spine is the priority here feel free to bend your knees if needed good and once you've gone as far as you can with a long spine you can tuck your chin Take another three breaths here. Very good. Start to come up. Good. And transfer onto your belly for back bends. Awesome. So here, gonna start with a cobra pose. Have your hands beside your chest. Rest your forehead on your mat. And you can have your feet together or slightly apart. But most important is that you're able to press the tops of your feet into the mat from your big toe to your pinky toe. From there, keep that grounding in your feet as you start to lift your head, your chest, and your shoulders. Keep looking at the top of your mat or maybe your nose. And you can start to use your arms just to get a little bit more height. Good, and maybe start to take your head back. Try to keep your gaze at your nose as much as you can. It helps to keep you focused and aligned. Good, keep pressing the tops of your feet into the mat. Good, notice if you might be hiking your shoulders up, keep them down. Take one more breath. If you're feeling good, stay longer. And take your time to come back down. Very good. Rest here. You can maybe rest your head on your arms, on your hands. All right. Start to make your way up. And you're going to come into a seated position. Good. Lengthen your legs out and cross your right leg over your left. I'm gonna move into a twist. You're free to keep your left leg straight or bend it in. And we're gonna to twist to the right here. You can wrap your right arm, your left arm across your right leg. Maybe your elbow goes past the knee. Good, but notice if you might be leaning back here, try to keep your shoulders over your hips as best as you can and twist from there. Awesome, make sure that right foot stays rooted down. Have one more breath. Good, come back to center. Straighten your legs out. Let's get the other side, left over the right. Same here, you can keep your right leg straight or bend it in. And we'll exhale and twist to the left. here. Check that your left foot stays rooted, your spine is long. Awesome. Come back to center and straighten your legs out. Nice. Next up is some arm balances. You can transfer up into almost like a squat position. First up is going to be crow pose. So you can get into your curl from your squat. Of course, if you have a different way of getting into it, go for it. I'm gonna hold for five breaths. Good, plant your hands down. You're gonna have your knees just behind your arms. Sometimes it might be near the elbow. Try to get it as high up your arms as you can and shift your weight forward. You might stay here with both feet on the ground and you get plenty from the pose or you can continue to shift your weight forward. 
transferring the weight onto just your arms. Good, try to bend your knees as much as you can. Awesome. If you fall out, you get back in. Let's take about two more breaths. Good, start to make your way down. Awesome, good. And let's meet in a child's pose. Have a little rest here. All right, very good. Transfer to a downward facing dog. Good, take one more breath here. Look forward, hop to the top, forward fold. Come up halfway and breathe in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold it back down. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms, have a back bend here. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Very good. Let's take a forward fold before we continue. Have your feet hip distance apart. Bring your hands to your hips. Good, and start to lengthen forward. And you're gonna hold on to your big toes with your index, middle, and thumb. Grab those toes and continue to fold as you pull. Awesome, you can take your elbows out to the sides, tuck your chin. Very nice guys, take about two more breaths here. Good, come up halfway, release your toes, lengthen your spine, fold it back down, tuck your chin, feel the connection of your belly and your thigh. Inhale, take your hands up, take a nice back bend here. Good, make your way back, hands to prayer, and beside your body, good. So, today we're gonna go through a few different triangle postures. We'll start with regular triangle or trikonasana. Step your right foot back. Nice big step back. And you're gonna dial your left toes in and take your right toes to the back of the mat. So we'll start to the back. Bring your arms up to your T position and keep grounded through both feet as you move into your triangle pose. Good, we're here for five breaths. Keep your chest open. Good, and maybe look up at the top hand. Good, we're here for one more breath. And from here, transfer to half moon. Good, so we're gonna come into a balance. Same here, you're keeping your chest open. Flex your lifted leg, lifted foot towards your face. And you can also try to look up at your top hand. Last option here is to maybe hold the lifted foot or ankle. Very good, take one more breath. Very nice. Release the foot if you took it. Make take your time to come down and switch your feet to the top of your mat. Good, and when you're ready, take it down here. Good. Maybe look up at the top hand. 
Awesome. Remember, chest is open and really root down through both feet. Good. Finish with one more breath here. And then look at the ground, transfer to half moon. Good, if you have it, look up at the top hand. Maybe bend your lifted leg and hold the ankle or the foot. But still try to keep your chest and hips open. Good, look at the ground. Take your time to come back down. Bring your left toes in and step to the top of your mat. Very good. Take a pause here. Let's continue to the next triangle posture. Hands to your hips. Step your left foot back. Good. And most important here is that your hip points stay forward. So you can adjust your feet to help that happen. Inhale, take your arms up. Good. And exhale, fold it forward. You can plant your hands on the ground or onto blocks. Good. And most important, after the hips squared forward, keep, that, keep your back heel rooted down. Nice, and have a few good breaths here. Good, and while we're here, we're gonna move into a twist. You're gonna bring your left arm to the out, left, left hand to the outside of your right foot and take your right arm up. So, we a uh, triangle twist here, revolved triangle. Good, this can be a difficult pose to find your breath in, but find it. <laughs> take one more breath. Good, and from here, we're gonna transfer to our evolved half moon. Good, you can be on fingertips or use a block. Good, but your back leg is lifted, very similar to the revolved triangle, but back leg lifted. A lot going on here, stay with it, one more breath. Good. Bring your left foot forward, release your arms down, forward fold. Inhale halfway up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, take your arms up, palms touching above your head. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good, let's get the other side. Bring your hands to your hips again. This time, right foot steps back. And you can just use your hands for reference here. Make sure that your hips are squared forward. Nice. Inhale, your arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Good, again, check that your back heel stays down. And you're trying to keep your hips as squared forward as you can. And if you have trouble aligning your body, focus on your breath. With a proper breathing, our body will align properly. Good, let's move into the twist now. Right hand can be on the inside or the outside of your left foot. And this time your left arm goes up. Good, try your best not to crunch your toes. Keep them nice and relaxed. Good. Shift forward and lift your right leg up for revolved half moon. Good. 
take one more breath. Nice. Release your hand. Step your right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale halfway up, breathe in. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, take your arms up. Have a back bend. Bring your hands to prayer and take a pause here. Good, and now make your way down for Shavasana. Good. Here, allow yourself to be comfortable. Soften your heels and the back of your head. Good, relax both shoulders. Let your arms be heavy beside your body. Good. Soften your calf muscles, your toes. Relax your hips and your glutes. Let everything relax, soften, melt. Good, start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Gently move your head side to side. Very nice. And extend your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice morning stretch. Gonna bend your knees in, hold on to your shins. You can lift your head up and round yourself. Maybe give yourself a hug. Very nice, and then release your head back down. Before we come up to sit, just have a happy baby. Hold on to the outer parts of your feet. Maybe gently rock side to side. Very good. Then bring your knees together again. Roll to your right side. Rest your hands, rest your head on your hands. And make your way up to sit. Very good. Once you're seated, be comfortable, close your eyes. Have a moment. Very good. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. Be sure to thank yourself for your practice, for your efforts. Let's all thank, let's all express gratitude for the practice of yoga, for the teachers who've come 
and share the practice for centuries. Good, and let's end class with an ohm. Inhale to prepare. Um, namaste. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you for joining class, and I hope I see you next time. <laughs>